he began to vacuum in secret. <laughs> Vacuuming became his secret pleasure. Only took Morley a week to figure out what was going on. Oh, there were plenty of telltale signs. She'd come home from work and the carpet would be clean and smooth, or she would smell a pipe tobacco odor of vacuum exhaust. She decided she would allow Dave his little secret, but she decided she would monitor him. She left things on the floor, paper clips and pennies. If it got out of hand, she would step in. It was a spring afternoon. A year after his vacuuming privileges had been revoked, Dave was home alone. He was standing in the living room, and he was staring at the guinea pig and her filthy cage. It happened so fast, it's hard to describe. Dave didn't really see it himself. He just heard the soft whoomph of her hitting the inside of the bag. <laughs> he, he switched off the dinghy in horror. Remarkably, the pig seemed to have survived. He had the bag laid out on the kitchen table. You could see her moving around in there. But he couldn't get her out, no matter how hard he tried. He pushed and he pulled and he pried and he shook. He tried to lure her out with a carrot. When Morley came home, he was sitting there with a pig squirming around in his lap. He was picking lint off it. Vacuum bag was on the table. Dave looked like he had been crying. He only said one word. Caesarean. That weekend, Morley brought a new vacuum into their house, told Dave he was not allowed to touch it. He promised, my vacuuming days are over, said Dave. Besides, with a bag cut, what could he do? He wrapped up the dinghy's electric cord, he put the machine back into its maple case, and he carried the whole kit and caboodle downstairs into the basement. <laughs> 